Hey there everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. That's right, I decided to start a new series. Uh, Binding, the Binding of Isaac was one of those games that I always enjoyed playing on my off time. And I didn't, really didn't want to pick up a new, uh, and start a new series about the original Binding of Isaac Rebirth. But since they did release a whole lot of new content which I could talk about, I decided to go ahead and start up this new series. Now unfortunately, the footage you're going to start to see here in a second is actually a couple of seconds into my first daily run. And the reason that is is because I forgot to actually start my recording software before I actually went into the run, but thankfully it is only shortly after I started the game, so I had just spawned in, took a look at the items I spawned in, because the way the daily run works is it's pretty much how, if you've played The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, how Eden works and how she randomly spawns with a certain set of items, and I have no idea what these items will be, but let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay. So, this is what I have. I have no idea what it is, but it looks like I have a buddy right now, as well as a, a chest item that I don't know what it does yet. And let's see. It has been a while since I played this game, so my play is probably going to be awful, as you can see right there. I hate I hate the, uh, the big guys. They're not as bad as some of the enemies I found later in Rebirth, but it could always end up becoming much, much more um, painful. Now, with this new series, we are going to have a lot of new items to discuss, as well as new combinations to work with. That's one of the one of the things I always liked about the Binding of Isaac is the fact that depending on what combination of items you found, it can completely change the gameplay. That's always what I what I found most entertaining because you can come up with some ridiculous combinations. Now, I do like the this character that I've come up with. It's it it kind of looks like uh, it has the black skin of Azazel with the with demon horns, and I'm not sure if that is just a random combination because of the items I have, which it's it's highly probable because the minion does look slightly demonic. But I like the little minion, and as you can tell, since the minion is firing my shots, I don't actually have tears, and I actually have uh, I actually have uh, bandages over my eyes, which probably means that that's how that item works. And I'm guessing it's that strange organ-looking item that was in my inventory. Let's see, that looks like blank card. So I'll go ahead and pick that up to get it out of the item pool, but I'm probably going to hold on to this because I want to see what the, this item does. I am going to be playing with controller. I'm very used to mouse and keyboard, but I decided to start using controller just so I can get used to it. And you see me, I'm sort of messing with the controls right now. Alright, okay, so it looks like the, the chest, like, creates a copy. I was, I was trying to see if the, the blank card would do anything without another card, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it creates a copy of whatever whatever minions you have for one room, which is pretty cool. I can think of some pretty pretty amazing combinations to actually go with that. Oh, I hate these kinds of rooms where basically I have to duck and dodge in and out of in and out of fire, especially this part right here. I hate this because it means that I have to take my time, otherwise I risk getting hit. So that's time consuming. Thankfully, I'm not doing a speed run. Trying to get just the right angle, and it doesn't look like it has enough of a curve. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out some more of the heads before I move on. Come on. One, two... It takes about three shots with this setup. To actually kill them. Oh, dang it. Well, at least they're all dead now. But that does leave me with one less health to take into the boss fight. Me, I play relatively... Relatively safely. Like, I don't like taking too terribly many risks if I don't know what I'm doing. The map, it doesn't look like I, I can do anything else right now, because I don't have a key and I can't get to that key to open the, the item rooms. So I'm going to pop my, my double minion. So now I have twice the firepower. Looks like it's doing a pretty significant amount of damage since now I have double the firepower. And thankfully that that item is a is a two chest cost, so I'm, I would imagine that like if a, a a battery were to drop during a level while I'm fighting something, or just be spawned into a room with a battery, I could have up to three minions all firing at the same time. So this boss fight going relatively quickly. He's not too hard of a boss to fight. Looks like I got an HP up. So. Probably take one of these, and... Looks 
sometimes when you break the poo, you'll get something interesting. Doesn't look like I got anything this time. Alright, yeah, let's go down. Let's see what our next level is. Ooh. I've never seen that symbol before. I wonder what that means. Oh, looks like we got we got uh, Gluttony. And I don't have my double minion proc, which is fine, but basic Gluttony is still pretty easy to fight. Now, with the daily runs, the way these work is that you basically get... Ooh, dang it, I didn't want to take that damage. You get one, uh, a seed, sort of like Eden, and you get to play through it. If you end up dying during the seed, you do not get to replay the seed. And basically, it's a, um, it's a leaderboard. It's a leaderboards thing, so the better you do in the seed, the higher your ankle will be on the leaderboard. Now, what's this? Oh, it's a bag of items. So we got a battery and a Hagalaz rune. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't see any breakable breakable rocks that would yield a, a spirit a spirit heart, so I'm going to hold on to that. I, I don't like... Uh, I don't hate these guys. These guys are pretty easy to deal with. Now, we are going to find a bunch of new monsters in this game since they did release the new update. I've... I would imagine that we're going to end up running into them pretty soon. Now I wonder what caused that to happen. Do I have an item in my inventory that causes hearts to spawn when I take damage? Sort of like, um... Oh, what's the name of the item I'm thinking of? Sort of like, a ma uh, the item that Maggie can... Or it's like Maggie's heart or something like that. I know there's, there's an item in the game that actually allows you to, when you take damage, to either it drops a spirit heart or a regular heart. I just can't remember the name of it right now for some reason. So these are, these are a new enemy, the Cyclopses. They work very similar to some of the other some of the other enemies you fought before. And they drop the blood puddles that do, the, ugh, that do damage. I can't talk today. They do damage when you walk over the blood puddles as well as firing shots. All right, I got a key. It looks like soy milk. I'm gonna take it, either though it's not that great, just because I want to see I want to see double minion machine gun. That's the that's the run I want to have is a double minion machine gun. Now, one thing I don't know is if everyone's seed during the leaderboards is the same. I haven't actually looked into that. And I don't want to take the risk of taking damage before the boss. If it's true, then that means that I guess everyone's run is going to be relatively the same as far as spawns, but I honestly don't know. Now, what's interesting is when you do a daily run, you don't actually get a seed code like you would during regular Binding of Isaac games. I hate... Now, that's the one bad thing about soy milk, is that if you don't have the right amount of damage already, your damage is significantly reduced, and soy milk hits so rapidly that it could end up pushing the enemies all over the place, setting you up for some bad situations like that. This is the one... one of the downsides of soy milk, is your damage gets reduced significantly. Hopefully I get something to damage that back out, like maybe Book of Belial, or one of the damage upgrades. One, one problem with soy milk is that whole damage, damage uh, drop. Like you can tell, like I had to put significantly more fire on an enemy to kill it now. And done, uh, okay. Still can't get to a lot of the stuff because I don't have any bombs. So I can't even start looking for secret rooms. Ah, Monstro. It's funny, I used to hate this boss. And now he's like one of the easier bosses I fight. Need to pop my my chest when I get to uh, I didn't want to pop the Hagalaz room, but that works. Now I have double machine gun fire. You can tell it's doing a pretty significant amount of damage now that there's two of them. But I really wish I had a damage upgrade. Come on. Regular Monstro is usually pretty easy to fight. Just a lot of, a lot of movement. Go Monstro, go. A little more. I don't want to take any big big shot damage. And he's done. Looks like I got speed shot. Oh, speed ball, should I say. Speed and yeah. So now it's double the speed. That's pretty 
pretty fun. I'm gonna go grab the heart that I left in the other room just so I have a little bit of padding for the next floor. It looks like I did have a, a breakable stone I did not see. I kinda wish I'd used my Hagalaz rune earlier. Oh well. First run of the new series. I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I like this new character model. I don't, I don't know if this is supposed to be the new character uh, Lilith or not. Now, they did add the new care. Oh, I fucking hate these kinds of rooms. Uh, yeah. There was no way with my damage I was going to escape. There, that I was going to escape damage. Okay. I got a little bit more money. I would pop my double minion now, but I think I'm good for the moment. Oh, making stupid mistakes. All right. Oh god, these things. This might take a minute. Dang it. All right. Oh god, more of them. These ones are only slightly less annoying. I am digging some of the new music tracks. Like this one isn't isn't new, but the, I think the one that was in the in the Monstro fight was new. I know a lot of people liked a lot of the music in the original Binding of Isaac, and we're kind of sad to see it go in Rebirth. But I n I never got around to playing the original Binding of Isaac, so. I didn't have much to go on. What's this? The ground feels... The ground below feels hollow. It's a new totem item of some kind. I wonder if it affects uh, item drops or like if I break a stone. Sort of like small rock. Oh man. My damage output being so low, this is dangerous. I've only got a half heart left. Pretty sure that. Pretty sure if I can't kill these things, I'm not gonna. Oh, and I'm done. Oh, there we go. Level two. And there I am on the leaderboards. I'm at least I'm above Star Trek Gabe Gaben. So. And yeah, so that was been the daily run for today. So this has been the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. If you want to see more of this, please make sure to like the video. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe, share, and follow me on social media. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!